credit basics. The basics of credit. What does the word credit mean? You use credit when you get access to money, services, or products now with the promise that you will pay it back over time. You can use a credit card to make purchases and then pay the amount back over time, or you can get a bank loan for a car or home purchase and pay that back over time. Both are ways of buying something with credit. Another way that the word credit is used is to score your past actions in paying back the money you have borrowed. Your credit score is a number that indicates whether you have a good pattern of paying your loans back on time. Creditors or lenders are the companies that lend you money, provide services, or let you have products now with the commitment that you will pay them back. Creditors include banks, credit unions, credit card companies, and more. What is a credit account? A credit account is a loan that you have to pay back over time in accordance with the agreement you made with the lender. These agreements will include the monthly amount you need to pay, the rate of interest to be paid, and the length of time you will need to make these payments. Some types of credit accounts will show up on credit reports, such as credit cards you can use anywhere, like Capital One, MasterCard, Visa, American Express, Discover, or from a local bank or credit union. Credit cards you can only use at one store or a group of stores, like TJ Maxx, JCPenney, Kohl's, Ashley's Furniture. Secured credit cards, secured loans, also known as tracker loans or credit builder loans. Personal loans, student loans, car loans, and mortgages. What is not a credit account? These ways of paying for things are not credit and do not show up on your credit report. A debit card, it's not borrowed money, it gets paid right away. Prepaid gift cards, it's not borrowed money, you do not have to pay it back. Loyalty cards at grocery stores, pharmacies, etc. You use the loyalty card to get discounts or earn points, but you do not use it to actually pay for the things you buy. These expenses are not credit and do not show up on your credit report. Rent, you pay forward for the company month. Car insurance, you pay forward rather than paying back. Electric bills, gas and heating bills, medical bills, cell phone plans. Why is credit important? When you have positive credit history, you have a good financial reputation. This makes it easier to borrow money when you need it and will be an important factor in what your lender charges you for interest. Creditors want a quick and reliable way to make a decision about whether they will lend you money. Credit reports and credit scores give them the information to make that decision. The better your credit report and credit score, the more likely they are to say yes to you when you apply for credit cards and loans. When companies see that you have strong credit, they may also let you borrow more money, charge you less interest, or charge you fewer fees. Who is interested in your credit score? People and companies other than lenders can pay for copies of your credit report and score to help them make a decision about providing services to you. These people and companies may include landlords, insurance companies, cell phone companies, utility companies, employers, rent-to-own companies, and car rental companies. What is a credit bureau? The credit bureaus are the companies that create credit reports. They gather information about each person's credit accounts and debts and add this to each person's credit report. They update the credit reports every month. The credit bureaus earn money by selling the credit reports to lenders, landlords, and others. These companies use the credit reports to make decisions, like whether or not to rent an apartment to that person or to give them a loan to buy a car. The three major credit bureaus. The top three credit bureaus in the US are Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. How do credit companies get your information? The credit bureaus are sent information about your accounts by the companies that lend you money or that you owe money to. So if you have a car loan, 
the company that your loan is with sends monthly updates to the credit bureaus about your loan. Banks, credit unions, credit card companies, other lenders, collection agencies, and the government send monthly information to the credit bureaus. What information is collected? There are five types of information credit bureaus collect. One, personal information. Two, collections. Three, public records. Four, credit inquiries. And five, accounts. Personal information. Your credit report also has your personal information. This includes your name, current and previous, addresses, current and previous, your date of birth, social security number, and employer, current and previous. Collections. Accounts sold to or managed by third-party debt collectors. This is when you have missed payments on an account or are so late in paying a bill that the company no, no longer thinks you will pay them back. The company you borrowed money from or owe money to, like a doctor's office, electric company, etc., sells your debt to a collection agency. The collection agency now has the right to try to make you pay that debt. Public records. Bankruptcies. Credit reports used to include judgments and tax liens as well, but the rules changed in recent years, so judgments and liens no longer appear on your credit report. Credit inquiries. A pool on your credit history is an inquiry by a lender or someone else to look at your credit report and credit score. There are two types of pools, hard and soft. A hard pool will result in a slight reduction of your credit score, and a soft pool will not affect your credit score. Two types of credit pools. A hard pool, when someone pulls your credit report to make a decision about you. This happens when you apply for credit, credit card, car loan, personal loan, etc. When you have given someone like a landlord permission to pull your credit report, so they can make a decision about renting to you. A soft pull, when marketers get information from the credit bureaus about you so that they can try to sell you things. Or a financial coach for educational purposes. Account history. Credit accounts, current and previous. Account numbers. Payment history, current balance, status. Current, closed, past due, charged off, etc. Credit limit, date of account opening. How long does information stay on your credit report? Most negative information stays on credit reports for seven years. Bankruptcy stay on your credit report for seven to 10 years, depending on the type of bankruptcy. Closed accounts paid as agreed stay on your credit report for up to 10 years. Late payments. Late payments remain on a credit report for up to seven years from the original delinquency date, the date of the missed payment. The late payment remains on your credit report even if you pay the past due balance. For instance, if you had a late payment in April 2011, the late payment would come off your credit report April 2018, seven years after the date of the missed payment. Credit bureaus must follow the law. Know your rights. The credit bureaus clearly gather a lot of information about you. Your credit report has a big effect on what you are able to purchase and when. It could feel frustrating or even scary to know that the credit bureaus have so much power. Rest assured, there are laws that protect you when it comes to your credit. The Fair Credit Reporting Act. You have a right to know what information is on your credit report and can get your report for free once a year. If you are denied something based on your credit report, you have a right to know what information on your report led to being denied, a loan, an apartment, etc. 
You have the right to dispute information on your report that is not correct. People just can't look up your credit report. Only certain businesses that have a valid reason to see your credit report may pull it. You have the right to place a security freeze on your credit report. So businesses that can usually pull the credit report can no longer do so without your permission. This is especially helpful if you are worried that someone else has been opening accounts in your name. How to check your credit report and your credit score. You can go to www.annualcreditreport.com once a month and get a copy of your credit report for free and without lowering your credit score. You can meet with a financial coach at CVOEO to find out your credit score. Get connected. Thank you. If you'd like to meet with a financial coach, contact your local community action agency. Credit and green energy. The better your credit score, the more green energy loans you will qualify for. Additional resources, energy efficient utilities. The Energy Efficiency Utility Program helps residents throughout Vermont access energy efficiency services, rebates, and incentives. The Public Utility Commission has appointed the following three organizations to deliver these programs. Efficiency Vermont delivers efficiency, energy efficiency services throughout most of the state. City of Burlington Electric Department, BED, provides energy efficiency services in its service territory. Vermont Gas Systems, Inc., VGS, provides natural gas energy efficiency services in its service territory. <laughs>